Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Time 100, Laverne Cox. Boy, you are just killing it the last year. Congratulations. And you get to star with Lily Tomlin, Nat Wolf is one of the hottest young actors, and this movie is a blast. Talk to me about Making Grandma. I'm so honored. I play Dethy. She's um, a tattoo artist, actually. She's an old friend of Lily Tomlin's character. And it was so much fun to sort of get to do this rockability sort of tattoo look. And we did all these sort of fake tattoos. And, and meeting Lily Tomlin is like a dream come true. She's a legend. And she was so unbelievably delightful and generous and funny to work with. Because sometimes when you meet, you know, you just never know. Yep. She's been in the business for like 50 years or so. And you just never know. And she was just amazing and delightful, and I can hear, listen to her talk and tell stories like all day long. <laughs> time puts you on the cover. Then you get notified that you're Time 100. Yeah. Talk to me about these honors. It's got to be just surreal. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I what was it? Um, third, I think Friday I posted um, a picture on um, Instagram of the Time 100 photo, and my eyes were closed in that, and then the, L Mag the Allure magazine um, photo came out the day before with my eyes also closed. And I was like, what's up with this? It's just sort of randomly, my eyes are closed. I'm sort of looking into myself or see no evil or whatever. Um, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing, and it's an honor, and it's, just, it's sort of hard to fully process, but what I, what I do know for sure is that this is a huge inspiration for the people people in the communities that I represent and for my fans who um, can believe that their lives and their contributions can be considered valuable. And I think there's never really been a moment historically where a black trans woman has gotten this kind of um, attention um, publicly. I mean, I and I made People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, how do you process that? But. Um, I, what I do know is that it's a huge inspiration for a lot of um, folks who follow me and are inspired by the work that I do. So I'm really grateful to Time Magazine, to People Magazine, to Allure, and to all the folks who are out there supporting me. Orange is a New Black, coming back. What coming can we back. expect? June 12th, oh my gosh, it's been... I, our fans for Orange are so hardcore, and I, I want this for them so badly. I wish we could premiere tomorrow so they could have been feeding for this show for about a year. It's amazing. Um, um, Ginger Cohen was really interested in faith this third season and what we believe in. So there's this um, theme of sort of faith and um, belief that sort of go, um, permeates throughout this season. And Sophia has a wonderful uh, storyline this season that I I can't wait to talk about. And I can't wait for everyone to see. She may or may not get into some conflict with another inmate um, and it's I had a really really good time and I didn't think it could get any better on orange and it it's gotten better for me